The Victoria Theatre, originally known as the Town Hall, is a symbol of Singapore's colonial past. Built originally to satisfy the entertainment needs of the British, the Town Hall continues to play a significant role in Singapore's evolving history. The Town Hall was completed in 1862 to replace the assembly rooms at Fort Canning, where musicals and plays used to be held. With the passing away of Queen Victoria on 22nd January 1901, a memorial hall was built in memory of Her Majesty. Works were completed in 1905 and the Victoria Memorial Hall was officially opened on 18 October 1905 by Governor Sir John Anderson. The Town Hall was then renamed Victoria Theatre. The Memorial Hall was built to blend harmoniously with the Victoria Theatre. Standing 54 meters tall is this clock tower which has long been a landmark feature of the Victoria Theatre. It was built to connect the old town hall and the new memorial hall, creating an illusion of two buildings as one. A little known fact is the clock tower was only completed in 1906, one year after the opening of the Victoria Memorial Hall because of delays in donations of the clock and its chimes. Over the years, this grand old building, the oldest theatre in Singapore, has played host to a number of memorable performances. Even at that time, in 1905, the theatre scene was very, very vibrant. So you had major impresarios. Impresarios are people that bring in musicals, bring in artists, uh, staging in the venue. So this was very strong then. And then the war came, those aspects happened. And the building was, uh, well, wasn't really utilised until about 1954. Then the PAP came in and they had their inaugural meeting at the concert hall and Victoria Theatre was transformed to a 904-seater. So the theatre now is actually very, very different from what it used to be, what it was originally built at. Other than its theatrical facilities, the building has served as a temporary hospital and even interrogation grounds for Japanese war criminals during and after the war, respectively. The Victoria Theatre is also the place where election officials were briefed and ballots were collated for the general elections since 1948. The whitewashed walls of the corridors, Italianate windows and rusticated columns create a symphony of Victorian style and charm. She's very, very beautiful. Um, I think there's something to that as well. I'm not working in a standard glass concrete building. The building is actually also alive. She, and if you notice, I tend to refer to her as she because she requires a lot of attention. And sometimes if you don't particularly pay attention to her, she'll actually throw a tantrum. Uh, it might be strange, but working here long enough, we tend to notice that. So it's quite a character in herself. One of the building's most bizarre tantrums according to Gurdjieff, has to do with the old clock. It happened one national day. The clock, which has been regularly serviced, went a little haywire. Its hands seemed to be stuck, but during the course of that day, they told four different timings. The morning after, before technicians could even arrive, it ticked along perfectly. The old clock has been telling perfect time since. Much tender loving care is required in maintaining the Victoria Theatre, considering that much of the original structure is almost 150 years old. Another defining feature of the Victoria Theatre is the statue of Sir Stamford Raffles. He was shifted here on the 6th of February 1919. <laughs> As a venue, the Victoria Theatre may not look as well appointed as its more modern counterparts in what is today a thriving arts hub of Singapore. But 
Something must be said for the spirit and charm of this grand old dame, offering a unique blend of historic and contemporary experience for the theatre goers.